y'all. As you can see by the title, this is going to be an apartment tour. I have finally, finally, finally got my place together and I'm ready to take you guys on a tour. If you're here for my apartment hunting video, I did select the townhouse, as you can see by these little stairs here. So without further ado, let's get right into this apartment tour. which is the main living area. On this floor is the garage behind me and then an extra bedroom down here. It's really simple down here. I didn't do a whole lot. You know, a nice little mirror and a little console table with some little tchotchkes on it just to, you know, do a little design. This wonderful faux palm plant tree thingamajig that I got from Amazon. Hall tree where we keep our coats and our shoes and such. You know, not too much going on down here. It's just the foyer. I thought somebody was trying to roll up. So behind me back here, this door is the garage. Nothing to see out there, so I won't be taking you out there. It's a garage, okay? Yeah, it's pretty empty in here. Not much going on. And then here's the closet. This is just like my catch-all I don't have no place to put stuff, so you know, I just kind of throw it in here. So that's what this is for. So we just gonna do like this. We just gonna close that door because it ain't nothing to see in there. It's just a bunch of random stuff. But let's go upstairs to the main living area because this is the best part of the place, if I do say so myself. So I just got a little mirror right here when you come up the stairs. When you know you want to check yourself before you get out. Want to make sure that your fit is right. So I got that right here. Don't mind my little house shoes. Hi. Hi, boo. Hi. So this is the powder room. You know, I really wanted to do like this feature wall or something to jazz it up, you know, cause as you can see before, it was really, really plain, really bland, really vanilla. So I felt like I had to give it a little, uh. so I gave it a little, uh. this shit right here was annoying to do. Let me tell you why. So it's really, each flower is like a little sticker. I got them from Amazon. It's a, like a wall mural and you just stick it up there. Some of these flowers are really big. So when you peel it off, it's kind of like rolling as it peels. If it gets stuck to itself, whoo child. It's so hard to get it unstuck. Child, it was just a mess. The black part is like a removable wallpaper. I usually like to paint, but I didn't feel like painting because then I didn't want to paint it back when I got finished. So, you know, this route, I can just peel this whole wall off and bam, back to normal. But it came out nice. I actually love it. I love, love, love the way it looks in this bathroom. I think it's phenomenal. So this bathroom actually has a dual purpose. It's like my utility closet and my freaking bathroom. So, you know, like behind the door back here is where we hide all of our mops and, and all of that type of stuff. So dual purpose. I got plans for this wall right here. I'm probably just gonna get some floating shelves and you know, put some stuff on there and make it look cute. But you know, that's the bathroom. Now we're gonna head over into my little lounge as I like to call it. My favorite part of the place. Right here. this is the dining room but I don't really use a dining room I have no reason for a dining room especially when I have a whole 
island with chairs in it that's where I'm gonna sit so I didn't want this to be a dining room I wanted to go non-conventional and I wanted to do something different so here we have the lady lounge the girl cave the girl lounge the Rihanna room my room my space and here's what I did with it I love this room I love this room so much I had so much fun designing this room like it first of all I love black I like black in my places. I like black couches. I like a black wall. I like black. I like black and gold. Black, gold, and white. Like those are my colors. Black, gold, and white with a little pop of something. So my little pop of something is the green in here. And the reason, the green actually happened because of the green in my plant. So I was like, hmm, I like the, what this green is doing over here. You know, we like this green. I like what this green is doing. So that's why I brought in these green pillows and some other little green things like my little succulent that I got on top of my books, the green in the little tray that holds the remote for the TV. Like everything just kind of had a purpose. So I kind of played off of the, the leaf from the tray and the leaves from the plant. Like it just, it was just all speaking to me. Okay, so to do this wall, it's the same removable wallpaper that's in the bathroom, but I use this um, washi tape, I think that's what it's called. Like the gold tape, this gold metallic tape to put the lines on. This was actually not hard at all. This was super easy. It was super fun. It is exactly what I was looking for. Exactly the look that I was going for over here. So This photo of Rihanna painted, I actually got this in Thailand. They rolled it up, put it in a little tube. I got it framed when I got home. And I think it looks amazing. I knew exactly where I wanted to put this. Um, so I think it looks really nice against this black and gold wall, but yeah, it looks great. I got my hanging light, the shade part of it I got from Overstock. The couch I think I got from House. The desk is from Ikea. It's called the Alex desk and I just painted the legs gold to give it the look that I was going for. These photos up here are from, are prints that I got from a artist that I found in LA. She makes wonder, I wish I can afford an actual piece of artwork from her because they are fabulous. The table here is from Ikea. It came in white. I painted it gold, of course. So I have quite a few coffee table books in here. I love books. I love coffee table books. All of my books over here are for the culture. All books showing black culture, black people. For example, I got this brown bohemian book. This book is so dope. It's just a super cool book. And then I have my Supreme Models book. This is showing all black women in the fashion industry. So it's like a little bit of everybody in here. Of course, Naomi, Beverly Johnson. This book is so dope. I love it. I love stuff like this. I just love it. I love this kitchen. It's spacious. The island is big. Nice big sink over here. I just like the way it's set up. You know, it's real, it's real conducive to cooking, I must say. Yes, I am super organized. Yes, I am super ain't no OCD and like my stuff to be a certain way. So that's why you see this cabinet here with everything labeled. I gotta label these two. Yes, I like my stuff to look a certain way. I love, I, this just makes me happy. You know, a clean house, an organized house, just, it's so relaxing to me. It feels great. It feels good. When it's cluttering around, like, I, I get anxious. I get anxiety. So, uh, just, I just like my stuff to be together, honey. Now, don't get me wrong. We got some cabinets and some drawers that, you know, got some stuff thrown in them, but it's, you know, it's hidden. It's out the way. You don't need your mess out on display. You just kind of tuck it up into a drawer in a cabinet or something, closet or something. You just, you know, you gotta, you gotta hide the mess. One thing I was also looking for in my apartment hunt was a gas stove. I can't stand 
the apartment stove, which is that electric range stove. I hate an electric stove. I don't like cooking on an electric stove. I prefer a gas and voila, I got my gas stove, honey. And then on this side is the little bar area. I don't drink anymore, I should say, and drinking does not agree with me. So I keep some stuff here for, you know, guests if somebody want a little something. So this is just a little bar area, Keurig, little coffee station. You know, I got my uh, coffees and teas and stuff in this drawer right here. And then we have this wine fridge. Um, I'm gonna call it a beverage fridge because it, it got more than just wine in it. But yeah, we just throw our little drinks in here. It's a nice feature because I find that our refrigerator fills up really fast. So this is good backup. You know, when you want to put bottles of water and stuff like that in here. So this really came in handy. Another thing in here that I really like are these bar stools. Um, where did I get these from? I think I got these from House, but I think you can find these anywhere. You can probably find them on Wayfair. You can probably find them on Amazon. Um, but yeah, I love gold. I love black and gold. I also forgot to mention that I changed out all of the hardware on the cabinetry just down here. I didn't do it throughout. So it's me and my brother that live here. I'm vegan, if you don't know. My brother is not vegan, but I'm real particular about like my dishes and my cookware. So, you know, we kind of have everything separated. I have my side where I have my cookware, my utensils, and then he has his side where he has his cooking stuff. In the sink, there's two different sides for like sponges and stuff like that because there is no way anybody is going to be washing off my vegan dishes with a sponge that was used to wipe off something that some meat was cooked in. I just, I, I ain't mixing. So that's why we have separate stuff, separate everything. Cause I don't, I don't want that stuff touching my food. I mean, it, it, it may not be a big deal to you, but for me, it just, you know, it's just, I don't like it. Let me show you how our refrigerator is. This, I will say though, even though I'm not a fan of these type of refrigerators, I will say that it works perfectly for us me being vegan and my brother being not because we can like keep our food separated because I don't want no meat juice on my veggies. I mean, that's just me. I know everybody is different. That's just how I am. Now this is one place that does lack organization. I ain't even gonna front. It ain't no organization in here. It's just you throw the food in here and that's what it is. So I have my side over here and then he has his side over here and we kind of share, you know, this space. Here's my side with you know, my vegan goodies. And then here's his side over here. So as you, it's perfect because it literally right down the middle, even this drawer down here, it has a divider. So his stuff over here, my stuff over here, it's like perfect for that. And then even in the freezer too, it has these dividers. So, you know, my stuff over here, his stuff over here. It's like perfect. Two people living together. Yo shit on this side, my shit on this side. It's perfect. The living space is like freaking huge, as you can see. It's really big over here. So I kind of had to get some bigger furniture to kind of fill up the space. Again, this was fun for me. I like shopping for furniture. I like interior design. I like decorating. So much fun. Okay, so let's talk about the fireplace. I'm actually, this is not like what I'm doing here. I kind of just threw some things up. Um, so this is the Samsung frame TV and you can display artwork. They have an art store. You can buy different artwork. I found some nice artwork on Etsy. So you can swap this out and leave it in art mode. So it looks like a picture is hanging up there instead of a TV. So one thing I'm going to change about the TV is you can buy a different bezel. So a different outline that goes around the TV. And I'm going to get that in white because I want everything up here to be white. I plan on getting a new sound bar, a white sound bar, so it goes with the white on the fireplace. This is going to stay. I'm okay with that because I wanted some height along the sides. Those two are probably going to go. I need to find something else, something with a little bit of mid-range mid height to kind of balance this out. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a work in progress. This is not set in stone. This is not what I'm going to do, but I do absolutely love this TV and how you can display artwork on it.
finger up, put it hands high, wave it in his face, tell him boy bye, you get it. This box right here actually goes to the TV. And then down here just hides all of the wires because it was a big wiry mess over here before. So I kind of cleaned that up, put it in a little box. PlayStation, little unknown facts about Nick. I like to play video games, okay? We also got the Say It Loud. I'm a black and I'm proud. I made that myself. These chairs, I was so happy to find these. These just go perfectly with my aesthetic, I should say. I actually found one on Target and one on Amazon. I got the one on Amazon because I ended up finding it. It was cheaper. Any of the stuff that I can find for you guys, I'll link down below. I love this couch. Oof. This has to be one of the most comfortable couches. It's a lower couch, so it's a lower profile couch. Um, it's actually not black. It's actually the, the darkest color that I could get. So it's a dark charcoal. I think the color is called charcoal. You know, and a nice flush, velvety, fabric the couch is from joy bird it's very large a lot of people can sit on this couch and they can be comfortable on this couch as well so i do love that about this couch i did purchase these from an instagram ad that came across from clock canvas but i think it worked perfectly so what i do still need here are some lamps this is actually a lamp i just had from my old place i only had one you know for now it works it is what it is but eventually i'm gonna find two lamps to go into this space i love flowers i love fresh flowers so i got my little bouquet of lilies over here because i don't have a lamp so I just put flowers over there for now to, you know, take up the space because I need lamps. This table I got from Amazon, but my Rihanna book. I love this book. This book is huge. You can't miss it. It's massive. It's, I think this book is like 30 pounds. It's so, ooh, I gotta sit down. It's so heavy. This book is so heavy. It's, look how, look how big this is on my lap. It's so big. It's so pretty. This is one of my favorite. Ooh, it's dusty, honey. Yeah, I love this book. So yeah, once I got this book, I changed my colors to match. And it almost feel a little disrespectful putting something on top of Rihanna, but I needed something to go on top of here. And I, this works because it's, you know, you can still see through it, but it still adds some oomph to it. I don't know, I feel like it needed it, but I like what it's doing here these little thingies over here i think i found most of this stuff from at home the candles i did find from amazon which play onto my curtains the striped curtains from the lady lounge i knew what i was looking for it's like i have these ideas in my head and then i just go until i can find it and you know make it come to fruition and voila striped candles This guy right here is my media cabinet. So you flip this little thingy up here and then I have my record player. I just recently started collecting, maybe about a year ago. And then down here is where I have my albums. Now I don't have a lot yet, but more to come. But yeah, I love to, you know, what's a good thing? You gotta have a good Michael Jackson around. It's a good thriller. The Weeknd Trilogy is one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, so I was happy to be able to get, I don't have all three yet. I only got House of Balloons and Thursday. I gotta get Echoes of Silence to complete out my trilogy uh, album set. I really wanted the one that came like all three together with the actual cover of Trilogy. Um, but yeah, that was like a limited edition, so. We had to buy these individually. And then on the other side is where I house my CD collection. Now I must say that some of the records, I do have the CD too as well, but let me just show y'all a little bit. I found these little boxes on Amazon, of course, and I just painted the little hardware gold because it was originally silver just so it goes with my whole theme. I like these because I wanted it to look like, you know, like a library catalog. So, you know, that's why I did my little um, 
labels to look like, you know, library. This is one of my favorite CDs. Madonna Bedtime Stories. This is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I could listen to that right now. But yeah, I got a little bit of everything in here. We got us some good music. Okay, that's one thing that's not lacking over here is music. I know that you can get all of this stuff on iTunes, Spotify, whatever other streaming services but i like having the actual cd or having an actual album like i like the tangibleness of having something versus just having a catalog on my phone Does that makes sense okay so let's go upstairs to the third level where the bedrooms are where no magic happens. some kind of special because everybody don't get to come up here. Here is my wall of family photos. All of the people that are special and near and dear to me are on this wall. This little area, so I don't have a linen closet. So I had to like make use of this space to hold my towels and stuff. So that's why you just see some towels folded up here. It also doubles as my bookshelf. Like my regular reading books downstairs are more the coffee table books, picture books. These are actually my books that I read. Then you know some other stuff just thrown together over here. And then it was this perfect space down here at the bottom that houses my suitcase since I am a bit of a frequent traveler. And then here is my bedroom. special here is the same furniture I've had this furniture for some years now I originally bought this bed from Wayfair maybe about five years ago the nightstands are from Wayfair as well the lamps are just some little simple lamps that I got from Target so also with my bed um, I'm actually in the market for a new duvet. This is actually the duvet cover right here. Uh, it's not inside of these two should be together, but I'm kind of over this. I got this from West Elm about three years ago and I just want something different. So it's kind of just right here at the end of my bed for right now. And I just got this little lightweight, probably something I picked up from Ikea, this little lightweight comforter. These pillows are from Z Gallery. I think I got this off of Amazon, and then these are the uh, the shams that go with the duvet cover. This mirror is everything. It is so big. I feel like you can just see yourself all good, you know. You can be here, like, you know, be over here getting myself together. It's so big. Like, I like that. Ikea came through with this giant mirror, so I freaking love this mirror. And it just fit perfectly you know, like in this space, especially since like I like the mirrored furniture and everything like that. So it just all kind of went together, you know? I know some people are like no TV in the bedroom. I'm a TV in the bedroom person, as you can see my TV on the wall. I, I like to be able to just lounge in my bed, wake up and watch. I actually don't watch TV a lot, but I want the option. You know, just lounge in my bed and watch TV. So I am pro TV in the bedroom. So this side over here is, you know, where my little chair is with my luscious blush pink throw that I got from Z Gallery. This chair, I think I purchased this from Hobby Lobby and I don't know where I got this pink pillow from. 
but um i rarely sit over here it's kind of just for show but you know it works this little thing right here is my heated mattress pad honey let me tell you if you live in a cold climate and it do get a little chilly here in atlanta but if you live in a cold climate and you don't want to get into a cold bed you know that's the worst feeling when it's cold outside and then you go get in the bed and the bed is cold no not with this so it's a heated mattress pad and there's actually one for each side so both people don't have to be cooking because i like to be warm so you know i turn that on like in the winter time like if i take a shower i'll turn my bed on and get it nice and warm and then you slide up underneath those covers and it is just like oh just warm you right on up it's like oh best purchase out of anything in here that was the best purchase i have ever made get you a heated mattress pad i'm telling you you will not regret it i promise you let's go on into the bathroom the bathroom i mean it's a bathroom this it's a big bathroom. It's very spacious. I do like the fact that I do have two sinks. What I do like is the big shower. I'm not a take a bath type of person. So I'm happy that I have this nice big shower in here. That is a plus. Swap out the shower head because the one that they had up there was whack. I like writing little sticky notes. I actually got this idea from the show Mary Jane that used to come on BET. Um, with Gabrielle Union. She used to do little post-it notes around her place. And I was like, you know what, that would be a good idea. You know, sometimes you need to constantly have like some positive motivation, some quotes, something like to see, to remind you like, hey, you know, everything is gonna be okay. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Keep faith, you know, all of that type of stuff. So I have a couple right here and then I have some more in my closet that I will show you, but these are like my daily ones. So the ones that I have here is just say, you can do this, stick to the plan, stay focused, do your part, and it will be re rewarding. So I try to keep these little notes around to remind myself to, hey, you got this, okay? You got to big yourself up when you're in the mirror. So you got to be in the mirror like, I got this, okay? I can conquer the day. I am worthy. I am and you is beautiful <laughs> you is smart you is smart you is important you know sometimes you got to have those moments with yourself where you sit here and you talk and you gotta give yourself a little pep talk that's why i be trying to tell myself stay focused you know don't get distracted you all right you good you got this you can do whatever you want to do. You just got to do it. That's the key. You can do whatever you want to do, but you actually have to do it. Every day should be another day that you're making progress towards your goals. So that's what I sit here in the mirror and do with myself. I kind of, you know, get myself together. Come on into my closet. Yes, everything is color coordinated the best I could coordinate it. You know, I got my shirts over here on this side in order by colors. And then we go from, you know, like sleeveless, short sleeve, long sleeve, straight through the color wheel. Pants at the bottom. I ain't gonna front like this side of my closet has gotten no love in quarantine. This is probably the first shirt that I've pulled from this side of the closet in months this side over here is my go-to like because this is where all my like adidas shirts are my sweatsuits my denim jackets like things that this is this is my side over here this is my everyday side um so yeah my shoes at the top again in quarantine i ain't wearing none of these i got my little hat collection up at the top which 
I ain't wearing none of them hats. I used to actually sell some of those hats. I used to have a website. I used to sell accessories, sunglasses, hats, necklaces, stuff like that, jewelry. Um, so some of those hats are like left over from when I used to sell stuff. So they just kind of up there. I can't, I can't get rid of it. You know, that's some of my merch. Here's the remainder of my stickies um, with my little sands on here. You know, I got some good ones on here. Like if you want something different, you have to do something different. You can't keep doing the same things and thinking you're going to get different results. You know, I'll be having to remind myself. I do come in here and I'll close a closet door and I'll sit here and just read some of these and let them resonate with me. And, you know, just positive affirmations. You got to speak it. You got to speak that into your life. You know, it really helps. I'm, I'm telling you, it really works. Um, Some other good ones that I have on here is my current situation is not my permanent destination. So that's to say that just because where you are right now, this don't mean that this is where you're going to be for the rest of your life, okay? You have the power to change your life and you have to take those necessary steps to make sure that change happens. It's not going to happen overnight, but every day you can do something to work towards your goals. And that's what this wall represents for me, reminding me that, you know, some days are going to be a bad day. Every day is not going to be, you know, sugar and spice and unicorns and everything happy and rainbows and all of that type of stuff. The reality of it is, is we go through things, you know, that's life. That's, that's what happens. I do find that having some positive affirmations, some words of affirmations, anything on this wall to remind me that everything is going to be okay and I can do this. So that's what this wall represents here. I do also keep my little sticky notes in here because I'll find that I'll read a book or I'll see something on social media and then I'll come in here and I'll write it down and then I'll just stick it on my wall especially if it resonates with me and then I have this book in my closet because sometimes I do come in here and I'll sit down and read this is called the power of now this was actually one of my mom's books I kind of flip through it and just read it a little bit here and there but what this book teaches you is that you can transform your thinking by thinking in the now. Because I think what we do as people is we get, um, we worry. People tend to worry about what they don't have, you know. Um, you got to celebrate the small victories. You got to celebrate and live in the now instead of worrying about the future. Because tomorrow is not promised. Like, real talk, you know, the apocalypse could come and we could be wiped out. And you did all that worrying for nothing and you didn't enjoy and live your life i'm in here preaching in my closet okay i quit y'all but the bottom line and all i'm just trying to say is i just went off on a whole little tangent is just enjoy the now enjoy being present in the now okay but you know we're gonna wrap this thing up from inside of my closet you have been all up in my business you saw my whole place i opened my doors to you guys this was actually fun um, if you have any questions about anything that you saw in my place i'll do my best to try to find links to them some things like i said i've had for some years some things i don't remember where i got from but if you have any questions about anything in my home that you would like to make your own in your home just shoot me a comment down below and i will do my best to help you out but thank you for touring my place with me i hope you all liked it well you know seriously you know whether you like my place or not i love my place you don't gotta live here but i love my place